good, world? How y'all doing today, man? It's good to see y'all. It's another blessed day, man. Um, This one is a big breaking news. Uh, It's in the headlines and stuff, man. Um, It's about your boy, Jay Prince, man. They said that your boy, he he, he just got his office raided, man. Um, this is crazy news, man. If 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 your boy, man, that got raided by the by the feds, obviously, it's letting you know that something is going on in the background that everybody's not in tune with or informed on just as of yet. Now, I can say that those guys have a lot of uh, bad luck, if you will, man. You know, a lot of people has passed away and stuff, man. You know, and um, you know, it's it's been a lot that's going on from his son, you know, doing those dice games with Boozy, to uh, them, them fake get the fake dice games, man. Them fake dice, man. That's 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 one of the big ones, man. Like. Y'all got to understand, man, it's a lot of Texas stuff going on, you know, with the Migos, uh, with Mo3. I mean, I can go on and on. There's so many different artists that's done clashed out, had things going on, you know. Um, your boy Jay Prince, man, I, I know he's feeling some type of way. And if he had anything in there, which they wouldn't be searching it for no reason. They wouldn't just run in there and say, hey, man, you know, let's let's just check it out, man, and see what's going on. Like, no, if they got a raid, man, if they raided that, they had a reason. They had something in there, some type of evidence, something was going on that they wanted. And then we can go dive in a little bit deeper. You got to understand that Jay Prince put Drake on. Drake got signed to cash money, you know, through Birdman. So Drake and Diddy had a clash. You know what they saying? Allegedly that Drake slapped them. So they had tension between Drake and Diddy. And, you know, Drake, he's going to go back to his father, Jay Prince, and, and let him know about what happened. So it was a lot of tension going on with that. You know, um, and then y'all got to take in perspective, man. Diddy locked up. You know, he could be talking. He could be talking. You know, um, this is a crazy situation, man. You know, uh, Diddy, he might be giving them some insight, some info. You know, he probably felt like, you know, that Jay Prince was, you know, trying to get at him or any type of thing, you know. And he probably had knew about some dirt or anything. Uh, this is just allegedly. We just, you know, trying to see what we what we got so far, you know, with the little information that they're giving us, you know, um, so, yeah, that, that could have happened as well. You know, it could have been anything with the Migos or, you know, QC, uh, P, and Coach K, you know, from the, the takeoff situation. You know, what could have been from the dice games and stuff. All of these people that's been in these dice games and your boy Boozy has been intertwined with all of these dice games and people getting unalive and stuff and people getting robbed blind for all of their bread, man, and, then you got to think about Duke the Jeweler, too, man. It's a lot of people, man. Duke the Jeweler was over there supporting them. He came to sell some jewelry, man, and they was going to attend a, a show. And this dude got robbed, man. He came in probably with some M's in the bag worth of jewelry alone, some M's in the bag of cash, and he flossing, extra flossing, you know, and, and – and, they probably won't feel in that, man. They probably like, man, this dude's getting cake, man. He got bigger stones than I got. This dude, Jerry, bigger than mine. You know, people get, you know, in that hate mode real quick when they see you doing better than them, you know. And this is a sad situation that people can't come together and network, man. But, yeah, man, this dude, he, you know, got robbed in the dice game. Some hundred bands, man. A few hundred bands, man. And dude, uh. Dude, the jeweler, he, he was taking all his bread. I mean, it's, he got the wrong dice. And see, this is the crazy thing. This dude got unalive by receiving the wrong dice. Like, they should have been more on their game. Jay Prince Jr. and Boozy, man. They they should have been on their game even more. They gonna play it like that, man. Like, you gave the man the wrong dice. That's y'all fault. Y'all gave him the wrong dice, man. And this dude ran it up on y'all. And now y'all mad. 
because it ain't go y'all way, but y'all trying to beat him in the head anyway. Y'all was going to try to beat him in the head, so then the money that y'all won, it was going to pay for the jury. So then that means he would have rolled out to y'all with the show and lost all his bread with well, some of his bread that he had and paid for that jury. You know, which, you know, if it would have happened the right way, it would have been a neutral thing. It's like, okay, I lost the game. But nah, man, you gave him the wrong dice. And this dude go outside and get unalive by the vehicle right at the house and don't nobody know nothing. So it's a lot of things that's going on, man, that even go even further back than that with a lot of, you know, situations, man. So there's no telling what's going on. But all I'm telling you is the feds is not playing, man. They done got your boy Dirk. They done got Diddy. They got the Amber Crime and Finch dude. They got that ski dude that was a snowboarder, man. They they locking all these people up, man. You know, and they still going. So now they done checked Jay Prince out, man. So it's to let you know, man, this is just the beginning. Like Cat Williams said, man, 2024, this ain't, this ain't no joke, man. All I'm saying is, man, if, if y'all got something to do with something or something or whatever, man. Y'all need to stay out the way. Y'all need to go ahead and go to an island or something, man. Go to an island and stay out of the radar, man. Put everything in somebody you trust name and stuff, man. Get out of Dodge. I mean, you're going to sit around and wait till they pick you up. And then it's going to be on the worst time when you unexpected. You know, you doing something. Or like Dirt, he was doing a birthday party. So he was trying to enjoy that moment and then bam, got hit. You know, dude did three flights, tried to trick him. So it's like, man, if you know that something can go down, man, get out of the way, man. You got to get out of the way, man. You know, um, it's unfortunate. But, man, y'all check this out. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Let's... Let's chime in on this, and I'm going to give y'all another update as soon as it comes out, man. And um, hit that subscribe button, man. Run me up, man. Run that subscribe button up, man. I appreciate y'all love and support, man. You know, um, let's keep going up, man. Y'all stay blessed. Stay safe, man. Stay warm, man. I'm out. Shemaine Diamond K, of course, this is the Diamond K Show. Jay Prince Jr. says reports of the feds raiding Rapalot Records is false. Offset dude, I ain't gonna leave him out. You know, I'm just real like this, you know, because you know, you know, be throwing rocks and hiding the hand, right? They be throwing rocks and hiding the hand, and uh, I don't like them kind of individuals, you know. And, and the truth of the matter is, you know, one can can dance and different things in front of these different cameras and and all that kind of shit. And and, re, and and when reality, the truth of the matter is, you know, you wasn't really right there with takeoff when he was alive. You know what I mean? So for you to be taking these positions that you taking, you know what I mean? And I, I got people everywhere, so I hear all kinds of things. Uh, I'm going to just say this to you. Uh don't never put me in no position where, you know, I have to defend myself. You know what I mean? That wouldn't be healthy for you. And, you know, I, I have to say that. I hate, but it's a million dollars worth of game. You know what I mean? It's a million dollars worth of game, and I'm going to give it to him right on a million dollars worth of game because I ain't going to throw rocks and hide my hand. I'm going to just let it be known, you know, to him because I hear what's being said. And uh, it's all love after that. Peace. Mm -hmm. is just recently just got indicted uh, with 13 charges, yeah. you know what I mean? Theft, taking money, uh, uh, doing all kinds of uh, crooked officer business, you know what I mean? And I put the spotlight on these guys over a year mm -hmm. and a half ago. But, you know, there's no doubt about it. I end up having a, have a meeting uh, up in Washington, D.C. Yeah. They enlighten them on this individual that was... Uh, that I felt was trying to down me, yeah. and I wanted to document it, let them know, okay, I'm in fear of my life, you got a hit man on me. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to document this because I don't want y'all to be mad if I come out on top. Exactly. You know I mean? So I done that, and, you know, like I say, uh, just recently, the same people I was a target to 
reaching out to me to assist them mm -hmm. on trying to destroy one of their own. Whew. Yeah. <laughs>